Everyone could use a good neighbor, especially when you're going through the rough times of cancer. I'm here with Sue Wynn from the iWin Foundation, a local organization that supports women statewide who are currently receiving treatment for breast cancer by securing and paying for individual services that relieve emotional, physical, and financial burdens. So tell me a little bit about how this organization came to fruition. Um, it was initially started by Nancy Shepard. She was a nurse and she had a coworker who discovered she had breast cancer. Uh, Nancy went through the journey with her. The woman had two small children. Um, Nancy thought, you know, how can I help her? She thought, you know, I could raise money, I could give it to research, but how can I help her today? Um, and then she started to realize that there was not an organization out there that helped women who were going through the treatment of breast cancer. Again, there's a lot of research that's going on, which is important, but you need to back up and you need to help the woman when she's actually going through that treatment. So that was kind of her mission and that's how it started. And since 2000, you have distributed over a million dollars to women in all 92 counties across the state and that is incredibly impressive. That's correct. So right, we have given women a million dollars worth of services. You pay for the services directly That's versus correct. giving the money correct. to the we, women. Correct. We don't just give the women a check. Correct. They have to choose the service and then we um, either use a service provider to do the service, for example, to do lawn maintenance, mow their grass, snow removal, or with gift cards for grocery stores or gas stations. And especially transportation and meals, yes. that's a big one. It is. I would say about 85% of our recipients choose those services. Mm -hmm. We have women who drive an hour and a half each way to treatment, live in rural areas. Um, they have you know, the financial burden of pharmaceuticals, um, medical bills, and so you know the necessities is what it boils down to. They need to feed their family. So the IWIN Foundation helps women, but you guys also help men with cancer, correct? That's correct. So we've helped over 3,000 women since our inception, but we've also helped four men during that time frame as well. Um, obviously women are more known for breast cancer, but men also get breast cancer and we help them as well. Okay, now you have a need for people to help fundraise with the organization, correct? Correct, most of our volunteers we use more in the efforts of our fundraising, um, help with planning our various events. We have a pink pajama party, a tennis event, a yoga event, as well as a mum sale. So we ask for volunteers to help kind of promote and help run those events. Well, in talking about the events, you have a really fun one that you just mentioned, the Pink Pajama Party, that's coming up in February. Two favorite things of girls, the color pink and pajamas. So tell me a little bit about how people can register and what happens at that event. The registration will actually take place on December 15th. It's an online registration, so you go to iwinfoundation.org to register. Uh, the event actually will take place February 20th, 2015. It's at the Indianapolis Marriott Hotel, Keystone at the Crossing. It's a fun girls night out. It's women in their pink pajamas, dancing, silent auction. We have local spa vendors who come and donate their time and uh, pamper our guests. It's just, it's a fun, fun evening. It's a, gr a great way to treat yourself right after absolutely. Valentine's Day. Or so, a great Christmas gift. Yes, absolutely. Now, if anybody was wanting to get involved to help either with fundraising or to get involved in any capacity, where can they go? To our website. Again, it's www.iwinfoundation.org. Well, Sue, thank you so much for joining us here on the couch. We've had a lot of fun learning about the organization and what a great organization it is. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. All right, well, coming up next, a look at Broadway Across America's Elf the Musical and an interview on Monument Circle with a resourceful woman trying to survive.